Spotify. I'm Matthew Gabozo, and I will be reading Prayer at the Opera by Patrick Donald. I had already been weeping quietly for half an hour at the Academy of Music by the time Ulysses finally made it home, disguised as a beggar. He was begging for his son to recognize him, to know him, and the boy longed to, but a whole kingdom hung on this, and he was afraid to love a fraud. When the Croatian baritone stretched out his hand to the boy, quivering thin and lonely on the other side of the stage, and sung his name softly, Telemaco, Telemaco, Mio Deletto. It was as if the floor of the world tilted the boy into his arms. And because I thought I heard my father calling, I thought all voices were my boys begging, you, who made it easy for me to weep, Lend the gift of tears to a man my mother said cried two times when Kennedy was shot and at my birth. Um, after reading this poem several times, my personal response came to be that I was overwhelmed. Um, I felt really sorry for the boy. Um, they say silence is golden, but for this little boy, silence is nowhere near golden. It's completely the opposite. He misses his father. He wants to be with his father, hang out with his father, talk with his father. And, you know, that's what he wants. And the father wants the same thing. Um, I can safely assume that, you know, the father did do something wrong. Um, and we've all felt like our fathers have betrayed us or done something wrong in life. Um, and the main reason is because at one time, uh, the father did do something wrong. Uh, he had to hide himself from his son. He didn't want his son to see him like this. Um, he had to watch him, his son, sort of from a distance. Um, and it's not like he didn't want to see his son. He did want to see his son. I mean, it says right here in the first part, the second half of the first part, he was begging for his son to recognize him, to know him. And the boy longed to, but a whole kingdom hung on this, and he was afraid to love a fraud. And he just, he, whatever his father did, he couldn't love him for that. He wanted to, he wanted to be with him, but he couldn't. But it, it, in the end, it really doesn't matter what the father did. What matters is the fact that the father wanted to be with his son. Uh, he wanted to hear the sweet voice of his son calling out to him, saying how much he missed him. That would be like music to the father's ears. Uh, and we can also assume that the narrator maybe had father issues himself. Um, that's why at the end it says... Uh, you, who made it easy for me to weep, lend the gift of tears to a man my mother said cried two times when Kennedy was shot and at my birth. Um, so it just shows how much the narrator was relating to the boy in the opera, and that's pretty much what people want when they make an opera, when they direct it and stuff like that. They want you to be enthralled by it. They want you to relate to that person. Um, so that way you can understand them at best. Um, so that's my personal response. Um, I really enjoyed reading this poem um, because it has to do with music, and I love music. It's a part of my life. Um, always has been and always will be.